Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again and another episode of Round Function and Formulas in Excel. So we have covered the round function and round up function. Now we are moving towards the round down function. So round down is very similar to round up and round, and you are going to learn in detail about the round down function in Excel with different example in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality whether it's a formula or power query or a macros we are going to dig deep into these areas in future or you can say upcoming months days and year so if you haven't subscribed then please go ahead click that red button so without further ado let's get started so round down function is very similar to round up as round down function in excel always rounds the number down which means towards zero and the round up function always rounds a number up which means away from zero so you are going to learn that in upcoming minutes the difference between the three so round down basically runs towards zero so whereas round up runs away from zero and round function just round the values on the basis of the number and its decimal values as we have covered in both the videos first let's see our demo sheet if you want to practice it with me please click the link which is the first link in the description box which will redirect to our website there you will find a xlx file to download below the player and just get start learning with us so here we have a set of numbers which i have already used in the previous examples so here we have our headers which we are going to find in the nearest upcoming minutes so first is the three decimal which means we are going to find or round a number down to three decimal places first thing first if you want to learn any function or formulas in excel first you need to write down that function and read what does that mean so if mouse over to the function name it says the round a number down towards zero so if we have understand what it says just click the tab it will open up our function so we have a basically two arguments in this function which is very similar or which is as same as the round up and round function so here we have number and num digits number of digits as you can see if we want to round down this particular value to a three decimal places towards zero we just need to select this particular number and for the second argument we need to add three here and if we close the parenthesis there we get the answer which is four six point zero three seven at which is which will be the same answer as the round function because it will also revert back the same but the answer will be different with the roundup but we are going to elaborate that in coming minutes let me just apply to our rest of the values so here we have got the values so let's first understand the difference between the round down to round up as you can see round down function is moving towards the zero or you can say running towards the zero and here we have a decimal value which is 0 0.037 and the next number is 2 and the round up function always run away from zero so what does that mean if we apply the round function into this function values the same set of arguments let's see what it says it says minus 46.038 so it just run away from the zero that means it will always revert back the next value of 37 which is 38 and it will just revert the same if we use the round down function okay and let's just see if there are values oh yeah here oh yeah here we have a value which is 6397 okay so here we have a seven digit here but if we apply a round function to it you will know the difference if you apply the round function to it it will just revert back 25.64 why because it will add a one two nine here which will revert as a zero and add the one to the three here why because here after the nine it says the seven so seven is greater than five so it will just add one value and round that particular value to one or you can say nearest integer and here we have got this 
hope you understand that and in the round down we just going back to our basics as you can see so it will just round down towards the zero or you can say a smallest value which we have which is 639 it won't add any number or you can say any integer to it so hope you understand the difference between the three the round up round down and the round function in excel if you have watched both the videos round and round up so you can solve all this by yourself so i'm not going to explain it to you if you have watched all those two videos then you just apply it yourself and do it in your own worksheet so you may just stop this video and scroll down to the last part of the video where you will find all the answers so if you if you don't want to get bored and you want to challenge yourself then please go ahead and start calculating it so i'm going to calculate it anyway so you can just stop the video right now and just start calculating it and if you are new to it let's just keep on going okay so in the next part we are going to find or round a number down to two decimal places so if you want to round a number down we know which function to use which is the round down function and the first part is the number of number which is this and number of digits we want to find the two decimal places then it will be two as you can see you will found the set of numbers so as you can see 46.037 if we have used the round or round up function it will revert back us minus 46.04 here so hope you understand by now how you can use round down function to round a number down to two decimal places so even if you are new to this video you may have known by this how to calculate or you can say round a number down to decimal places then you should start practicing it yourself challenge yourself in this particular example with your own worksheet so you can pause this video now and start calculating it okay i hope so you have done it let's just resolve it straight away so we have a round down function the same argument is the same and in the number of digits if we want to round the number down to one decimal places we just need to enter one here and close it apply to all so we get all the answers here so if we have 59.48 here so it just revert back as 59.4 but if we have used round or round up function it will just add one more to it so it, the answer will be 59.5 so hope you understand so in the next part we are going to find or you can say round a number down to a nearest integer without any decimal places we just want to find a nearest integer or you can say want to round our number which is this down to a nearest integer so how we can do that as you know to find a nearest integer if you haven't watched a round and round up function where for the nearest integer we just add a number zero in the second argument which is the number of digit right so let's just type a function here round down there's the number and for the number of digits we don't need any decimals so if we don't need any decimal then we can just add a zero to this particular argument and close the parenthesis so there we go we got our nearest integer to one or you can say nearest integer value so this integer value is the same as we have in these particular cells so there's no need to change and if you don't want to apply a formula to it there's a other way to find that just cl select your cell click right click on it format cell and there in the number category you can just delete this so you can see the same number which is we have find using a round down function right so in the next part for the nearest 10 okay in the next part we are going to round this number to the nearest 10 or we can say round down this number to the nearest 10 so how are we going to do that we are just going to apply the same set of examples so if if you have learned or watched the round and round of function you must know to convert or you can say around a number down or up or round a number to nearest 10 we use minus 1 here just close the parenthesis so you know we have got the 40 for the 46 and if we apply to all we have got 7 
20 for 75 and 59 for 50 and if we have used round or uh, round up function we must have got 60 here and here we have must have got 80 and here we must have got 50 as you know it will just round the number up so for the number up it will find the next integer value away from zero so in this we have found the number down which always runs towards the zero so that means it will decrease down to the nearest lesser 10 integer hope you understand that by now and the next part which is nearest 100 we gonna resolve that same by using minus 2 here and if you want to find the nearest 10,000, 1,000, so you just keep on adding number here. Let's just find out. So it says 0 and all number will be 0. Why? In the roundup function, all number was 100 because we were rounding that up to the nearest 100. So we are rounding this particular number down to nearest 100, which will be obviously 0, 0, 0, 0. So hope you understand by now how you can use round on function to find such or you can perform such calculations. And in the next part, we are going to round the negative number down to the nearest integer. It will be the same as this, but let's just find out. We have a negative values here. So if we want to find a negative to nearest negative integer down number, then you just need to select this and if you don't want to include decimals so you just want to round a negative number down to the nearest integer you must use a zero as you can see so there we go we have got this minus 46 and we have only two negative values here so we just apply to this so we have got our answer minus 46 and minus 75 so hope you understand how you can utilize this sweep and short function which is round down function to round any number down to nearest integer or decimal values or rounding a negative number to the nearest integer so if you have learned something from this video please click the like button and if you want to learn the round other round function you can use the link to the playlist in the description box and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because you are going to missing out some more important functions which we are going to cover in upcoming days so see you in the next video until then bye bye